Yeah, everybody keeps talking about that. You know, everybody's talking about, you know, us hitting the quarterback. I'm proud of it. And I, I guess the thing is I'm proud of it and I'm proud of what we do every game. And I think they, they enjoy that. But, you know, I guess as a coach, you're always coming back is my selling point every day. Can you do it again? Can you do it again? And, and, and that's what it boils down to. Can we do it again? And I'm not so much, I'm not asking them to go out there and let's see if we can knock the guy out. Our job is to pressure the quarterback, sack the quarterback, and contain the quarterback. After that, do your job, stop the run, and, and just and keep things in front of us. Now you were a defensive lineman. You can tell me you didn't like to hit quarterbacks. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Still want to, but you can. <laughs> but that's part of the game, you know, and um, and that's the nature of it when you play on defense. Everybody wants to hit the guy that doesn't get hit in practice, and uh, but our structure, our defense is to stop the run, pressure the quarterback, and after that, whatever hits we can get, we'll take them. Well, uh, nah, Dick is a hell of a lot better. I mean, <laughs> hell of a lot better. And um, it just, he's so athletic. And my deal is, I'm going to say it again, can you do it again? And that's the hardest thing about playing in the D-line. And, and, and that's what I'm telling him because people are going to start sliding the protection to you. They're going to start doubling you more. They're going to start chip, uh, chip blocks. Now, can you go out there every day and still defeat those blocks and make plays and, and, and play within the structure of the defense? You know, I've been in situations where guys have gotten frustrated and all of a sudden they start doing their own thing and here we go. That ain't what we want. Play within the structure of the defense and understand what's going on and, and your situation, his situation is going to keep getting better. This year, it's really with that front four that we got, it's really hard for teams to run the ball on the inside. And so what are you seeing now is a lot of teams are starting to scheme where you're trying to get the ball out on the edge and make people make plays in space. Uh, and so with that, you know, just to, just to approach angles, uh, you know, we didn't see as much perimeter game with last year that we did start than we are this year. So we just got to get guys, and we've been practicing a lot more of, of making tackles in space and knowing where the next guy is at. If you miss a guy, there's such thing as a good missed tackle or a bad missed tackle. If I miss a guy, if I give him back to the help, that's always a good deal. So you never want to miss a particular guy when you get you know, if I got inside help and I miss him on the inside and he gets to the outside, of course that's where your explosive plays come at. Uh, so we've been making a real big emphasis uh, the last couple of days and the last couple of weeks actually on knowing where your help is at, knowing the approach on the guy, just the eye discipline on how to approach him, uh, you know, when to break down and when to take a shot. To me this the probably one of the best duos that we've seen in the conference. You know, it's, you got 18, and then there's another guy on the football that nobody ever talks about, the number the kid, number eight. Is, he, he's got to be right up there with A.J. Green. Nobody ever talk, mentions this kid, but he's six foot five, and, you know, 18's their go-to guy, but when they need the first downs on third down, they're going to go to 18, number eight. And then, you know, you got eight, you got number 20, the lock kid. That's Between those two kids, between lock and, uh, and, uh, and the cop kid, they're producing 300-some yards a game. It's quite a lot of offense, and so for us, our, our, there's a lot of emphasis on stopping those two, but we're also not going to fall asleep on the number eight. We think he's just as, as good as any of them. Just physically getting stronger and being able to do some of the things that we're asking him to do, um, understanding the routes. He never ran as many routes, like specific routes, like he has to do now, but uh, he is. I tell you what. The thing that I'm impressed with him is you never have to tell him twice. You tell him one time, and he's going to go out there and do it the way you coached it or showed him on tape or talk to him about it in a meeting. He's one of those rare kids that can take it from the board and take it right to the field. But a lot of guys have to have a lot of reps, so it's muscle memory, not for him. And then find any picture where he's not looking the ball. When you take a picture of him catching football, the last six inches, his face mask is time. Matter of fact, when we do one-on-one, -on -one you know, watch 7-on-7, seven seven, I'll freeze the tape when he's catching the ball. And they're all like, we already know, Coach. You know, it's almost become a, you know, a joke in the room about him looking the ball on the way in.